a nation with many thousand years of history for that nation a hundred years is nothing but for this parliament building which has updated almost a hundred years as you can see in the background that in 1921 the foundation stone was there for this magnificent building it has completed hundred years now there's a need to have a new parliament building and here we are we are sitting right here at the old parliament building and on the left hand side you can see the majestic new parliament building which is which has already been inaugurated by the prime minister few months ago but from tomorrow onwards all the mps will be sitting here and the parliamentary business will be conducted at this new parliament building so the question is what will happen to the old parliament building which has witnessed india's history in the past 100 years or so we have seen how the civil for the independence was there and also india's independence which was witnessed by this building in 1947 of course by prime minister jawaharlal nehru this twist with destiny speech which was a historical speech was made here and in the last 75 years this parliament building has witnessed many ups and downs in the parliamentary democracy but as far as this old building is concerned we have been told by the sources that this will not be demolished in fact it will be restored renovated and probably used as a museum so that the coming generations can witness india's parliamentary democracy as a tradition for old building building now coming to the new building as you can see this is called the makar dwar or the makar gate there are six gates in this unit and each gate has its own significance these are named after different various animals one example is makar then gaj then hans garur and shahdul all these dwars are there in the new parliamentary building which will start functioning from tomorrow there's a biometric security system for all the member of parliaments and apart from that you know the new building will be completely paperless there will be display before the mps and they will not be given any paper or document all will be electronically arranged and apart from that there are various gates which have been arranged for various dignitaries these are dedicated gates and of course in the new building you can witness india's cultural history and heritage there are exhibitions showcasing all those things and apart from that uh, the chambers of the lok sabha and rajya sabha are quite big in the size because this was the primary reason why a new parliament building was constructed because in the old parliamentary building there was not enough space in 2026 there will be delimitation and the number of mps will increase significantly but of course there is no space for them to sit here the building old building was dilapidated there was a lot of leakages during the rainy season and apart from there were some security hazards also that's why there was a need to have a new parliamentary building and that's why we have now a new parliament building which will start functioning from tomorrow and of course in the coming years when the number of mps increase significantly the new houses uh, the new chambers will have sufficient space to sit all of them together so this is why this new parliament building has been created And as you can see, it's quite majestic. It was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi a few months ago, and it will start working from tomorrow onwards. In this special session of five days, uh, we uh, we have witnessed that how uh, India's uh, parliamentary democracy has evolved in the last 75 years. There's a discussion going on, and apart from that, tomorrow uh, MPs from Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha will meet at the central hall of the old parliamentary building, and they will discuss. how to make india a developed nation by 2047 after that tomorrow being ganesh chaturthi there will be small puja conducted here at the new parliament and then the official business will be shifted from old building to the new building the government has listed so far eight bills in the special session and but of course a person believes that you know, there will be some surprise because prime minister modi today made it very clear that some historical decisions will be made in this five days special session so we have to see what the government comes out with a special business or say special legislation before the special session in parliament building akhilesh sharma for it